hey guys yeah so like i was saying about um the jpeg um picture format you know it's also another picture format you know type but then png is always the best so always use png because it has a uh, very good quality and then it is only with png format you can get uh, a transparent background okay yeah so although some of well i think png is just the best so let us just proceed with um you know the next stage so now having you know created various kind of um uh text animation uh, slide types that you may be needing for your videos let us now proceed to bringing all those text animation types that we have created together right now bringing them together means that uh you have created you are creating a video with all those texts it will make more sense when you bring them together remember already you're creating all those stuff uh, in line with your plan of content creation right the content you want to create at that point in time so as we proceed further you will understand better okay so doing this now we need an application called InShot, the InShot app so we're going to be um, running you through on how to use the InShot application so this is the application we're going to be using in this particular tutorial now so let us go ahead and open it without wasting much time so when you open the InShot app this is what uh, this is the screen you come to i think this also may not need uh data i don't think it needs data so i think even with your data off this will work just fine so what do we need to do now all these um knobs you see here they are meant for use you want to create a video which is the one we're going to be using now then uh you tap on that you want to do a photo slide this is the one you need to uh, click on because it allows you to you know select uh, photos you know and then do a slide with them then also uh you want to do a photo college you know photo college now the one we know we call um uh, uh what's it called it's not pix mix or so like you have to put like three to four pictures just in one frame right that's what college means so let us go ahead and get into what we're here for so we're clicking on video to start what we want to do so it brings you here what you need to do is you click on new once you click on new it takes you straight to your gallery right now we have created uh, some videos some um slides with legend in the previous video so we're just going to select those slides please select them in an ascending order starting from the first work that you saved remember the first work you saved is going to go down okay so you don't want to start selecting from the start right if you select from the start you're going to be selecting from the most recently saved one right so we just want to go and start from down so i'm going to be ignoring this particular one this one i did with web tech um uh dark background right it's not going to be so clear so i had already designed another one which is this one so i'm selecting this as my first slide remember we created four slides with legend so three four so these are the four i'm going to be used these four that are marked so when i'm done with that i want to click on this good right so i've clicked on it so this is where it brings us to now where you're here when you play this you see that all our slides that we have created in the initial video has now been imported into the legend um sorry the InShot app so you see it's a very beautiful um you know display we have here now you notice that i used just one color that would be very very uh professional okay so now it is very very important for you to you know think about the coloration of your work what you want to use as the main colors of your work then you stick to those colors okay you know we're trying to teach you here also to to be professional okay we don't just want you to okay learn these skills and you know go into designing stuff and maybe you're just having fun so you're just designing some really creepy stuff you know using different colors and making it look creepy and all 
disorganized right so you want to organize your work use the same color you know across if you want to use three colors select the three colors you want to use and work with them okay so remember i said perhaps you want to you're working for someone like you're, you're working for a client you're trying to create a content for a client please always try to use backgrounds that will be in relation to that person's business assuming the person is into fashion please always get pictures download pictures from google png pictures from google that are related to fashion download lots of as much as you will need for your slides so use those pictures as the background of your um of your text animation so when you bring them into uh in short to create the video they look original right and they are in line to the business that you're trying to create the content for so at the end of the day you discover your clients are happy because of the level of professionalism you put in right so please let us just take note of that <clears throat> so let us proceed you see all these tabs down here they are tools that you use in creating this so i'll just run through them one after the other so this one you see is canva if you open it it helps you select the screen format that you want to use remember there are various dimensions and ratio ratios for you know the screen size you want to use for assuming you're trying to design uh, a, uh, a content for instagram maybe the person is uh wants to use this content for instagram this is where you select the ratio or the, the screen dimension type that you want to use for the particular video you're creating okay so we'll get into that so you can see this place you need to add music if you want to add music to this because it's all boring of course when you play this now you discover that it's all boring isn't it but i also think it's very boring so of course you don't want to leave it this way so you just want to add some really cool music so we're going to get into that but meanwhile let me explain all these tabs we have down here so this is a sticker maybe you want to add a sticker if you click on it this is what you see but i don't think uh, adding a sticker is professional so i wouldn't advise i wouldn't add any sticker so you want to add a text you can add a text here once you click on that okay so texts are usually very useful in terms of maybe you want to add a subtitle let us take for instance hello guys <sighs> hello guys you know just... sorry you know i love you all you know i love you all so maybe this is the text i want to use for uh a subtitle well uh, I just want to show you though what we'll come back to that in more details, right? So this is it. I'm just going to bring down the size a little bit and try to make it align. I'll just bring it down. Let's assume this is where I want my subtitle to be. Of course, subtitles are always under, right? So I just place my subtitle here. We want to align it to the center, right? Here. So that's fine. You know, that's just you know more like what it looks like so if you play the video if you go back and um click on good right if you play the video you see that it appears so let's assume this see this place you see this thing you see here that is where you can adjust the timing of any text that you put so it can appear only where you want it to appear you get so if you click on this now you want it to show through all the video you want to drag this till the end of that video so it means when you play the video it's going to show this stuff throughout the video do you get so see it's not showing here because it has not reached where i applied that word so assuming you want to add it here you can just pause the video then click on text then click on text you get then you add whatever it is you want to add then the what the the right top will show up at this particular point right so you just go on playing it so the video is just going to let's just fast forward it a little bit you see it has come to the point where i added that stuff so you see let's assume this is what the person is saying this is usually useful when you you're designing a video an actual video animation right 
so i click back on text and this is it i remove this thing because i don't want it to be here so but i'm just giving you an example of maybe you want to create a video you imported a video and you want to subtitle it of course this is going to be a wonderful tool to add subtitles to videos right so just get it so let us get back so um you can add filters various filter types if you put it your video will have a different um you know effect different looks so when you filter it you can add effects you can adjust the brightness the contrast and all from here so you just want to play around it a lot of um tools you you can work with so we go back so we can proceed so here you want to trim the video in case you want to like trim the video uh, maybe you don't want it to reach the ending you can just click on this knob and drag it this way you get or you want it to you don't want it to be towards the, so you understand the point now if that's not what you want you want to cut it towards the middle right you just tap on this one remember this one is trim that helps you trim towards the beginning or the ending right then if you don't want that you want to try cutting if you cut it you know it's going to from wherever the play knob is maybe you're playing the video and it gets to this point and you want to cut it from there you're going to pause it and click on cut you see so here you can cut it from the middle you see maybe there's a part in the middle that you don't want you can just cut it from there but that's not what we want to do right we don't want to cut anything so we're just going to go back uh okay still in trim if you want to split it if you want to split it so you can add um a transition in between the videos right that's where you can click on split but when you play it and you get to the point where you want to split it you pause and tap on split so this place where i just split it now if you click on it if you click on good right it's going to bring out i don't think we want to go there to bring out various types of um transitions that you can actually add to your video i don't want to click on good because if you do that it's going to bring up various type of transition then you select the one that you want but since this video already has its own transition we're not going to be adding any transition to it remember transition in legend i taught you about transition go back to that video and watch to understand what transition means so let's just get ahead so um we're going to go back so this split still explains the same thing i explained here it does the same thing the split from here does right so we don't want to talk about that you want to delete the video maybe you don't like it that's where you you know use this tool you want to add a background to this that is not the background that is here if you click on it it's going to show you various colors it's going to also launch you to your uh, gallery just in case you forgot to add a background here right so you can just select a background from this very place now do you get so here you can add the speed or you can reduce the speed you can even get a slow motion effect from this tab here you get this tab you can get a slow motion effect from it and you can make it faster right you know so a very useful tool so here you want to crop the video you can use this you want to increase the volume or reduce the volume you can use this you want to duplicate the video you can use this maybe sometimes you just want the video to play over and over again you duplicate it if it goes to the end it starts up all over again right if you want to flip it you use this you want to rotate it you use this so you just play around all these tools and get it so now we're not going to be using all of these things you're going to have to figure them out yourself they are very pretty easy if you just open anyone you try to play around it to see what it does i'm sure you will understand that so we're going, I'll just show you um, two important things of three here. So what the first one is Canva. Canva, right? Like I told you before, that's um, selecting the size of the screen that you want per time. So all these things you see are the screen types that you have. But we don't want to select anything from here because currently it's, it's okay. It's on full at the moment, right? It's on full. That's what you're seeing on the screen now. But that's not what we want to use. So I'm just going to click on Ratio okay all right so i click on ratio this is what it brings out you see there are various dimensions for different social media so if you're if you're just posting a video on instagram you should be using this 1.1 ratio 
do you get me one to one ratio right which is the first one and that's the one we're having here right now so you want to reduce the screen size a little bit for instagram still then you can click 4.5 um, you're not increasing it now you're kind of um uh you're just kind of um, making it a little bit more uh portrait type right I try to make it more portrait type so if you want to make it landscape landscape are usually for instagram v uh, for youtube videos that's where you use 16 to 9 ratio this 4 to 5 is also useful for facebook is very useful for uh, instagram too right so you want to do something for youtube you can click on this so the screen uh, resolution comes the screen size comes this way right so if you play what we have just created this is what of course but that's not the design we had originally for this very video so it won't come out nice so if you're one of the people that do tiktok you want to use this six uh, nine to sixteen ratio so this is what tiktok um you know default uh, uh ratio resolution is right so you just play around these things all these sizes are you know different for various so uh, i think this isn't so bad for what we are doing it makes it appear a little bold but let us just stick to what we are here for so we'll use the one that originally we planned with so that will be just fine so i get i i i, I believe you 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 understand exactly what this does right so we're just going to go back so now since this thing is really boring and you don't just want to design such a beautiful uh video animation video text animation and then just leave it this way you know you want to add some cool music to it so let us just go ahead and add cool music to it so you see here this is where we get our music from so if you click on it it brings you here so you just select your tracks from here right now you can add effects you can add effects right if you click on all these things you have various kind of effects let's assume one you see something like that you see all these things are effects okay maybe uh, want to add let's see if we can add one okay let's use this in the beginning of our video so that would be really cool okay you see so that's really beautiful so let's just go ahead and add our music the cool music that we want to add so when you want to do that if you click on music or my tracks it brings you here so these things you see here, all these things are, you know, uh, preloaded music. That's when you uh, are on the future tab, right? Uh, they are preloaded music that you can actually select from. Do you understand all these things? But we don't want to select anything from there. We want to select from, well, that's if you want to select from them, you can, okay? But I want to select from my music. I have better songs here okay so i'm going to select from my music i always love to okay let me use deliverance i love this track a lot one of my favorite um it's one of my favorite classical um tracks by yanni so just tap on use so it has loaded right in my video this is the track here so another thing you can do is you can trim this track you can trim it to whenever you whatever you if you just double tap on it it brings you here so you want to reduce the volume so the noise is not too much okay so um this is just exactly what it does so from here from the right from the right you can reduce it you know towards whichever place you want it to go just so you can um you know maybe you want it to start from the middle you just drag it from here to the middle okay it starts from the middle then maybe you want it to uh play from uh, you want it to stop somewhere you drag it here depending on how long your video is though 
but this part i don't think it's important this very part i don't think it's important okay so um it all depends on what you want to do so always remember uh in case you want to add a, a voice over to it i'm going to also teach you how to add voice overs okay to your videos of course we're going to be adding a voice over to this video that's one of the things we're doing today and you know it's always very important to add a voice over it's always very important to add a voice over to a video right because that passes the information clearer right it, it passes a clearer information of that video and it makes it more professional so you want to also learn how to you know make voiceovers this application does not have such a very wonderful quality of um, voiceovers but um, as we proceed further in more advanced stages i'll teach you how to make a really really professional high quality voiceover now in case you're a person that don't know how to talk like you're, you're you don't have good dictions or you don't have a good composure with your voice and you cannot really produce um very good you know voiceovers that's not a bad thing okay there are various ways we can help you 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 can come up with really wonderful uh, voiceovers that's going to be in, in a more as advanced class right now you can even have voices of you can have uh, voices of um even americans you know voicing over your videos right voice of americans voicing over your videos i'll show you some videos to that effect so in case you you, you don't want to talk you don't want to do the voice over yourself with your own voice or well, there are there are various tools and you know wonderful secrets to get a voice over and people think it is someone from america also that's speaking right so you can even give you a uk kind of accent right whichever accent you want in the world you can actually get that so if you follow us to the more advanced stage of this class you would learn those kind of uh, you know advanced voiceovers okay some of them are paid for though so <clears throat> uh, that's just how it goes uh so what do we want to do now since we're okay with this music that we've just selected we can just click on good but before then if you want your music to fade in like once it's coming in as it's coming is is the sound the volume is gradually coming up by itself this is where you can add the fade in here you see you see what happens on this top part right as you increase it so that's what don't do it too much don't do it more than 3.6 milliseconds or, two, or just make it two two between 2.5 to 2.2 to 3 seconds right just make it 2.5 to 3 seconds but i don't want to do anything about that here so you want to fade out so that it just fades out when the video is about to finish you can also use between two to something seconds two to three seconds right so that when it gets two seconds of uh, the video ending it just fades out gradually on its own but i don't want to do that now so i'll just go ahead and click on good but meanwhile i'll just add up the volume of my music to where i want it to be before we proceed okay let's assume i just added up to four uh percent of the volume so you can see that if I play this video now, there's a cool music in the background. Just listen. Or maybe I want to add a little volume to the song. I'll just make it up to like six or seven. Okay, this is good. The reason why the volume should not be high is so that when you put a voice over you know it's going to come out really clear now if you notice the video i initially sent to you it has a voiceover on it but with this very video we cannot add a voiceover and the reason being that i'm using my phone my phone's uh, microphone at the moment because i'm recording my screen okay so if i tap on if you want to record you want to put a voiceover on this very thing all you need to do is click on this so once you click on record it means you can now talk you can now add a voice over to your video after it counts and you can just start talking you see what it say your voice record i can currently whatever whatever so it means i cannot record anything because i'm using my microphone currently but in the video i sent you that's just how i did it so when it, it, when you click on this after it finishes counting it's going to play the video automatically so all you just need to do is as it plays you just share this stuff. 
Welcome to WebTech Digital Animation class. Today you're going to learn digital marketing. So, you go on. Please follow us until the end. You will be proud of your achievements. You will become a professional because you have acquired knowledge. Knowledge is power. Please follow WebTech till the end. Go back to your world and take over it. Exactly that way. So you just do it like that, but be very professional, be very composed. So your voice comes out really nice when you're doing the voiceover, okay? So once you're done recording that, it's going to save here. What you can do is you just double tap on it, increase the volume. It's always very important to have a high volume with your voice. Even though the quality of this application is not so nice, but trust me, if you follow me, I promise you, I'm going to teach you how to come up with really, really professional voiceovers and people will think you went to a studio to do that. You, can't, you don't need to go to any studio. All you need is just your phone. I'll just teach you how to do all these things if you follow us, please. Thank you very much. So I believe that <clears throat> at this point, we have created a, a wonderful video. Uh, you now know how to make use of this application. You now, you now know how to bring in all your you know, uh, text animation slides and put them together and come up with a really wonderful video. You know, put effects on it, the volumes and everything. You know, so with this, I think this is just the basic thing you need to know. So once you're done, you just click on good. You see, your video is as good as done, right? I believe by now you must have put your voice over. So you just play around it. I'm sure you can come up with really nice stuff. You know, so what you're going to do now, since you have learned this, what you would do for me is you're going to um, have to do an assignment. So, you would, um, it means if you now know how to do video animations with InShot, it simply means you have learned how to do the text animation too. So, what I want you to do now is you're going to create two video animations using these steps that we have just learned right now. You create one for your business and you will create one for your client, right? So, uh, that's what I want you to do now. So you, you're going to do that. So in more advanced stage, I'll teach you how to remove this uh, watermark that is here. You can't see it very well because it's a white background. I'll teach you how to remove watermarks from videos, you know, in our advanced class. It's very, very important that you don't want to have all these things in your in a professional video, especially when you're doing for a client. So I'll teach you how to take these things out. You know, it's very important they are not in your video, okay? All right, so let's just go ahead and play what we have just um, created. Uh, so please do the assignments. Do one for your business and do one for a client that is paying you, okay? Just select any category of business you want to do, you want to work on. So make it come out really nice. Be very creative about it and then we'll tell you when to submit because we'll open the group and we'll pass the information on when you will submit the assignments. They are also going to be uh, accessed, okay? So the reason for this assignment is just so we tr follow we, we, we follow you guys up and see that you're learning. Let us be sure that you're actually learning this stuff, okay? Because our utmost joy will be the fact that we actually thought you guys and you actually learned. And trust me, when you learn, you know, you, you know you're going to make good... Um, money from it i promise you you see this little video you see here i charge as much as 10k to prepare just one within few minutes for a client if i want to be nice i, I can charge up to 5k 6k and so so you can actually learn these things and use it advertise your skills let people know this is what you do you know they give you jobs and you deliver you know with ease people want their jobs delivered on time and professionally so these tools help you you know, do these things. So you see that you're diversifying your source of income. You know, one little naira matters. Okay, it doesn't matter how little, uh, you know, it comes in. We'll do the assignments and send into the group, and we'll be glad to score you really high because we know that you're going to do something really great. I know that you guys are very creative. I'm going to be so proud of you. <clears throat> so uh, until then. Uh, I think this is the end of this particular series for the day. So uh, we're going to communicate to you the next category of trainings we're going to be going into. So before then, 
I'm sure you want to learn cartoon animation. Just stay tuned. We're coming to that. You're going to be such a great cartoon animation uh, artist, right? So don't worry. Very soon you're going to learn that skill too. So until we come um, to all those on this thing, I remain your host. So um, have a blessed day. Uh, God bless you.